Hey YouTube, uh, having a walk today and um, I am at the private wood lot where I spend a lot of my time uh, back home and I've been, uh, I'll use the word scouting today, um, I've been looking around for uh, maybe a semi-permanent campsite for myself for the fall and through winter time. I've actually traveled right to the very back side of our of our property here and you can see I got a stream, a very heavy one. And this, if I follow this, will go all the way back down through to our property. Um, but I think I found a nice little spot. I'll bring you around and you can see this is very thick. It is thick in here. But hopefully the camera will pick it up. Is I've got plenty of firewood. I've got a quite the amalgam of trees, pretty much everything. Several large birch over there, lots of spruce, there's pine up on the hill, um, just about everything. A lot of rocks, should I need them. And uh, as you can see, maybe you can see my axe and my equipment right up there on the top of this little knoll. Um, this is what I think I might go with. This isn't peat under here, this is dirt. And I'm going to clear some away and have a fire and some coffee here shortly. But I got a stump to sit on. I got a whole bunch of rocks right there. It's well drained if I want to do an overnight. And overall, a pretty good spot. A lot of wildlife in here. And uh, some of the hunting seasons are open where I am. And shame on me for not bringing the, bringing the rifle. But yeah, not too bad. So I'm going to clean it up just a little bit and get a fire going and I'll do a video on that too. So hang out. There is no better tinder than birch. And mind you, we've had the two previous days were all rain. So hopefully I'll get it right on the first try, but sometimes it doesn't always work out that way. It looks like it's gonna be a go. I'll get back to you. By the way, as preference, I don't use instant. I use real coffee. So, not that that means anything. Now wait till the uh, grounds drop, and I know the coffee's done. Should use some creek water to save this, but it's all right. Simple pot stand, a little rock and just a pointed stick into the ground. Simplest tricks are the best tricks sometimes. I was a little wrong on the ground. It's uh, it is peat and dirt, and just a few feet more down, it just turns into dirt by the creek. So uh, I did layer the bottom of the fire with some thick, wet um, pieces of wood. Is it the best idea? Eh. Not the worst neither. Should be alright. So we're good to go. And hopefully uh, in a few minutes we'll have a cup of coffee. 
Well, I was out today. I was uh, trying out the new knife that I had finished. It's that blank I got from YouTube user uh, Mem. I'll put his name up on the video here. Uh, did some batoning with it. A couple small feather sticks and uh, works out very nice. Uh, I didn't use it to light the fire, though I should have, because I, I did make sure that I had a, a good 90 degree edge. Matter of fact, let me, let me grab it. Find out right now. Yeah. <laughs> See that. I'm not sure. Hopefully, you can hear it. Yeah. That's a good fire steel. Overall, good knife. If you guys are interested, once again, I'll put his his um, page into my description there. Maybe he can knock you one of these up. Definitely good quality. Good heat uh, heat treat as well. Um, it, it holds its edge very well. I gotta tell you, the kit modification I've made to this uh, high loop kettle, the GSI kettle, helps. Um, I can have fires like this and the burn can and never have this handle get hot. Somebody, and I remember uh, Freddy had mentioned, well, is it a little long to pack? Well, it's a little inconvenient. I work it to the side of the pack, but the payoff's nice because I can pick it up without any issue. So, and, uh, Looks like coffee's just about done. Oh yeah. You know you want some. Now I'll just move the rock back on the hot stand here and keep the coffee hot, boiling it over. Mm -mm. I like it dark and tasty. Ooh, that's good. 